Hey, if you have been considering having a nanny or an au pair in your home, you are super serious about learning a language. That is a lot of commitment. <laughs> and I applaud you for that. If you are considering one versus the other, I wanted to give you my personal experience of being a nanny in Switzerland many years ago. <laughs> I took French in high school, and so I went abroad to be able to speak English to children while they spoke French back to me, with the whole goal of them speaking English by the end of the time. There were some really awesome benefits. I mean, come on, I, you really can't compete with having a native speaker in your home versus any language program out there, right? Let's just get that cleared up. <laughs> but the truth is, you are bringing someone new into your home, as well as all of their likes and dislikes and everything. You are placing your children into someone else's hands for a good portion of the day in order for them to learn. The thing that I noticed over there, and actually the mom I worked for over there noticed, is that her children started to have an American accent in his English, and she wasn't too fond of that. She was assuming that her son would sound like her with her kind of French European accent, but he was so young that he was actually almost had no accent. And I think it's really funny because because in today's culture, um, here, we're always worried about our accents. And over there, their children were actually having no accents and they didn't like it. Um, it didn't sound like them. They didn't sound like the parents. They sounded like me. Um, and so that was actually not a benefit for having a native speaker because they sounded different than the parents. Also, the parents didn't understand certain words in English. They couldn't communicate to their children. They could only communicate to me in English. So the parents weren't learning the English right along with them. With Talkbox.mom, it's both parent and child that's learning at the same time, and you guys get to develop your own special accent that your family has that no one else has, and I think that's just super fun. Once the nanny leaves after the year or two years um, that you can afford to have a nanny or an au pair in your home, they're gone. So whatever you haven't learned, now the kids can no longer speak to, um, to anyone on that language. So in the end, I think it's better that if you're looking for an au pair or a nanny strictly for the purpose of having a native speaker in your home to be able to learn a language, I think you're better off just taking the time to learn it yourself so then that way you can communicate and speak just like your children. For more information, go to talkbox.mom. <laughs>